Here we are, chapter two with the review one, and uh, we're going to do the answers 29 through 39 here. It says solve, so we're going to have to get a solution here, and we're going to have to graph it. So, start off with number 29. 3t plus 5 is greater than 15. Subtract 5 from both sides, and we have 3t greater than 10. Divide both sides by 3, and we get t is greater than 10 thirds. Now, just to make it look pretty and special, we'll put these little things here, or a line right there, meaning such that, and then there, that looks nice, then we graph it. t is bigger than 10 thirds, so here's 0, there is 10 thirds, and we circle that to show that we don't have that as a solution, but we need everything that is bigger than that. Good. Let's try the next one. Subtract 30 from both sides, and we have 4m is less than or equal to negative 48. Divide both sides by 4, that is m less than or equal to negative 12. Notice that we did not switch the sign there because we didn't divide by a negative number. We divided by 4. Even though this was negative, we don't switch the sign. So let's put the cute thing around it there to make it look nice. There we go, S set of all m such that m is less than or equal to negative 12. And the graph looks like this. Here's 0. There's negative 12. All these guys are part of our answer. And we go up, and 12 is. So we make a circle and color it in. So we have that as the graph right there. Number 31. Let's get rid of all these parentheses. 3x plus 6 minus 6x greater than or equal to, jump that one in, 5x minus 10. So this is really 6 minus 3x bigger than or equal to 5x minus 10. I'm going to subtract the 5 over here, so we get a negative 8x. 6 minus 8x equals negative 10. And then take that 6, subtract 6 over there, so we get negative 8x greater than or equal to negative 16. Divide by both sides by a negative 8, and we get x. Please be aware of this. This is going to be less than or equal to. Make sure you're OK with that. We divided by a negative number, that little negative right there. When we do that, it switches the sign around, so x is smaller than or equal to 2. And if we put this garnish on the answer right there to make it look nice, that's good. And we have, here's 0, there's 2, and we s fill in 2 because it's equal to 2 as an answer, and then we are smaller than 2. There we go, good. Number 32, negative 7p plus 3 is less than negative 10. Subtract 3 from both sides, we get negative 7 less than negative 13. Oop, negative 7p, there we go. Divide by a negative 7, divide by a negative 7. Now remember, this negative sign is what causes this guy to switch. So we have p is greater than negative 13 over negative 7. The two negatives cancel, and we get 13 sevenths. So let's put this special looking stuff around here. Good, and we get the graph, um, there's 0, 13 sevenths is about right there, good. And we're going bigger than, so we're up here, and this is just greater than, there's no equal to, so that's an open circle right there. So there's the graph. Number 33. We're going to jump that in to get rid of the parentheses, and we have 3 fifths n plus 18 fifths minus 2 greater than or equal to 3 halves n. We've got fractions to get rid of. Uh, let me see, we have a 2 on the denominator and a 5 as a denominator. So we can times everything by 10 and get rid of all those fractions. There we go. And we get 10 times 3 fifths, that's going to be 6n plus 10 times 18 fifths is a 36 minus 20 greater than or equal to 10 times 3 halves is going to be 15n. If we subtract the 6n over here, we have 9n on this side, less than or equal to 16. If we divide both sides by 9, no switching of the signs at all, we get n is smaller than or equal to 16 ninths. And again, you can make that look very pretty according to math stuff. There we go. And we have a set of all in such that 16 ints is greater than or equal to n. Now if we graph this, let's put it over here for a moment. If we graph that, 
we have there's 0, there's 16 ninths. And notice the n is on the small side of 16 ninths. So that means all of these guys are the answer. It's not necessarily just an arrow pointing to the right. It's saying the n is on the smaller side of that. So that's why we color to the left. And since it's equal to, we fill in that circle. Let's erase that so we have room to do this other problem. But that's what it looks like. All right, number 34. Divide both sides by 7. We get m is less than negative 3. And graph. Oh, make it look pretty. Ah, uh, there we go. So there's 0, there's negative 3, and m is on the small side of that. So open circle because we're not equal to, and then color down that way. Good. Number 35. Let's jump this 3 fifths in. We get 3 fourths x minus 15 fourths greater than or equal to 7 halves x plus 15. Whew. Here we have denominators of 4 and 2. We want to get rid of those guys. Just wipe them out. We can do that if we times everything by, let me see, 2 will go into 4, and so 4. 4 is the least common denominator there. So that'll just go away, go away. Um, and then we'll get something over there. 3x minus 15 greater than or equal to 14x. Watch that guy. That's a 14 plus 60. Subtract 3x over here and we get 11x plus 60 less than or equal to negative 15. Subtract 60 from both sides and we get negative 75 greater than or equal to 11x. So then we can divide both sides by a positive 11 and we get x is less than or equal to negative 75 over 11. There we go. Now we can put that fancy stuff on it. And the graph, let's put it up here. There's 0, there's negative 75, 11, so about negative 7. x is on the smaller side of it, so we're going to color it in and then go over to the left. There we go. Number 36. 3a plus 5a, that's 8a, is bigger than 7a minus 8a, that's negative 1a. Add a to both sides, we get 9a is bigger than 0. Divide both sides by 9, we get a is greater than 0. So on the graph, oh, make it look pretty. Sorry, I almost forgot that. We have 0 and a is going to be the bigger ones up here. And circle 0 right above it. There we go. Number 37. 5y minus 5, 15 equals 2 thirds, greater than or equal to 2 thirds y plus 4. How do we get rid of that fraction? We're going to times through by the least common denominator. Well, this is the only denominator listed here, so we're going to times through by 3 everywhere. Ah, that'll go away there, and times by 3. So we get 15y minus 45 is greater than or equal to 2y plus 12. Subtract 2y over here, we get 13y minus 45 is greater than or equal to 12. Add 45, we get 13y is greater than or equal to 57. So y is greater than or equal to 57 thirteenths. Uh, make it look nice here. There we go. And then as a graph, there's 0. There's 57 thirteenths. Looks like it's just a little bit bigger than 4. And um, circle, go this way. Do we fill in the circle? Yes, it's equal to, so we fill in that circle. Good. Number 38. A company job to run a pamphlet costs seven dollars. Okay, so that's one thing for a setup fee, and then an additional two twenty one for each copy. So that's going to be a plus on our thing. Two twenty one for each copy. How many copies can be run if the budget is one hundred and seventy five dollars? So seven dollars plus two point two one times the number of I'm going to use C for copy. 221 for each copy plus seven dollars has to be less than or equal to 175. And that's what we have with the budget there. We have to be smaller than that. So uh, we can solve this one. Seven, subtract seven, we get 2.21 times 
times the number of copies has to be less than $168. And then divide both sides by 2.21, and we get that the copies have to be less than or equal to, punch that in my calculator, I get 76.01. I can't make 0 .01 copies. So we will round to the nearest copy. Copies have to be less than 70, less than or equal to 76. And there's 76 right there. We're going to circle it. There we go. Number 39. An envelope has to have less than 18 inches squared total area. What can the length be? So we're looking for length, L, if the width equals 3 and 1 fourth. So we know the area is length times width. So area is 3 and a quarter times L. That has to be less than 18. So we can solve this for L. Divide by 3 and a quarter. Divide by 3.25. And we get that L, the length, has to be smaller than 5.5 inches. There we go. There's number 39. Good.